Okay, I have a crank no start. This is another one. Now remember, we watched the Ficum power during the injection clatter. We verified that the ICP is uh, reading. We, we want to see it under atmospheric pressure. So anywhere from zero to 15 is okay. Now one thing I need to mention, if you have the new style ICP sensor in an 03 or an 04, they may read 50, 60 PSI. That's normal just because they're off a little bit. So anyhow, I'm, I'm going to cycle the key. It will uh, monitor Ficum M power during the key injector clatter. And then I'm going to crank it and watch and see what we're missing. Is it sync? Is it IPR? Um, does it have to get to 85%? The Ficum power dropping or the ICP not building? So there's a key on. The injector's clatter is good. We've got the 48 volts, at least during clatter. Remember, it doesn't start, so we can't check it there. I'm going to crank it now. Glow plug lights out. Going to crank it and watch my ICP, IPR, and Ficum power, and the sink, of course. Okay, we had sync, we had Ficum power. With the maximum ICP that I saw build there was under 400. So we have a, uh, we can't get the, we, again, we need the 500 PSI just to start. Taking the high pressure pump cover off and we found that the ball bearing has come out of the side. There's supposed to be a ball bearing in there. I'll show you one that's, here's a good one to compare it to. And then here's the one that's out of the truck. So all the pressure was bleeding off here out of the side and dumping, and the truck became a no start to where it wouldn't go to the pressure. So anyhow, I found the pump bad on this. Um, question that I get people to ask is can I tap it out? Yes, we have done that before. We've used a quarter inch pipe thread, went inside there, tapped it, plugged it, and it's worked. I've done two, one worked, one did not. It still started, but it, the pump would go to, uh, IPR would go to 85%, so the pump was weak. It's up to you if you want to take the chance or not. You may just be doing it twice. Another thing you may want to look for is on your IPR screen. Make sure that it's not damaged. If you see any damage to the screen, it doesn't matter if it's contamination or if it's a, uh, where the screen's actually done like that, Try your IPR first before you pull the pump cover off, but always take your IPR valve out, look at it, if the screen's damaged or contaminated in any ways, try this first, that could be your problem with it. Last thing I want to go over, if you have the 04 style, the 03 style you can't get it off without taking the intake off, so you had to pull the complete turbo intake off on the 03. The 04, you can pull just the turbo off and you can remove the cover here without pulling off the intake and the EGR cooler and all that. You do just have to remove the, the, the turbo. Two things we use on that is one, it's a long snap-on 8 millimeter wrench. We we'll use it to get underneath the EGR cooler and break the bolts loose down this side. This is one way. The other way is using a ratcheting wrench and we'll reach underneath the, oil cool, the EGR cooler here and get them out. Two things you may want to think about. One is on the top side like this. The other way on the back one is behind the EGR cooler and knock them loose like this. But once you get them loose, you can get them out. That pretty much should cover what's going on with this one. Thank you.
few things I like to go over here. Um, it may seem kind of obvious, but I've seen this a couple times, and they're hard to find because a customer will come in and say, I just did the high pressure pump, it's not that, but yet everything leads to when we tear it off. I'll get people that'll use, in the package you have new seals. The yellow one is for the base on the engine block underneath the pump. Make sure that that goes underneath the pump. I've seen people put them up here and they don't belong up there and they're burned and fried. So make sure that the yellow one goes on the base and that the um, that you, you use the proper one that's up here, the black one for this one. Also inspect inside here because I've seen this O-ring fail in there and it will also cause you a high pressure leak, uh, may just cause a lack of power or a check engine light from a uh, from losing high pressure. And the last thing, most of the pumps aren't coming with the plug in the bottom, but I have seen some come with the bottom and I'll see on the forums where people won't notice that, they'll put the pump on and have absolutely no pressure and it's because they didn't pull this plug out on the bottom. So inspect it, make sure that there's not one there just before you assemble it.